In this part, we will be talking about the various factors which affect the rate of diffusion. We have already studied what exactly diffusion is. So now, let us talk about all those things which can affect the rate of diffusion. So we call them factors affecting the rate of diffusion. And the first factor is concentration gradient. Concentration gradient means how much difference in the concentration is at the two points. You know, to understand this, we can take a very simple example. Whenever we talk about a ramp, which is like a slope, and suppose we put the ball here at the top portion. Now, here the difference is in the height. So, if the slope is steep, we put the ball here and leave it. It starts rolling and it's going to roll very fast. Now, suppose this ramp becomes less steep. That means the angle changes. And you keep the ball here. It will still roll, but it will roll at a little slower speed. Same is the situation when we are talking about the concentration difference between point A and between point B. If there is a huge difference, then the rate of diffusion is going to be higher or faster. So, how do we write it? We write it as higher the concentration gradient faster is the rate of diffusion. Because we know that diffusion is a passive process and it takes place till in the two areas the concentration of particles becomes equal. Suppose we take a compartment or an area where there are too many particles and the other, this is area A, this is area B. So diffusion will start, the particles will start moving from the region where the concentration is high to where there are no particles. So this will continue. The particles will move and after some time the stage is going to be, this is area A and this will be area B. That means pretty much same concentration because it will always move from higher to lower. Now in these two regions, the concentration is same. There is nothing higher, there is nothing lower. We can take example. Suppose there are 1000 particles here and 0 particle here. So what will happen? The particles will move from higher concentration to lower till it comes to 500 particles here and 500 particles here. That means in both the areas, concentration becomes same. Let us take a situation that in one area there are 600 and in the other area there are 400. There is still a difference in the concentration. But is the slope that steep as it was in 1000 and 0? It is exactly like the incline. If it was like this, faster movement, if the slope becomes or the gap becomes less, lesser rate of diffusion. Second factor which affects the rate of diffusion is temperature. And we say higher the temperature, faster is the rate of diffusion. Higher the temperature, faster or higher is the rate of diffusion. And the best example of this is we can smell the food which is being cooked. Suppose we are sitting and studying in our room and something is being cooked in the kitchen. We can smell it while we are still sitting in our room. We can know what kind of a dish is being prepared and you know you start feeling hungry. What is the reason? Because the food is being cooked. So, 
we are supplying heat energy. So this is the particle and we are heating it, we are cooking it. So we are supplying heat. Heat energy gets converted into kinetic energy of this particle. And kinetic energy is the particle, uh, is the energy possessed by moving particle. So more the kinetic energy, greater the distance traveled. And that is why you can smell the food from the kitchen to your room. In, take a situation, the food which you smelt while it was being cooked. Suppose the same food is kept for you for the next day. So what happens is uh, that food which was kept for us is taken out from the refrigerator and we keep it on the dining table. And we enter the house and we start asking, what is there to eat today? Why are we not smelling it? Because the food is cold. We have not supplied any heat right now. So cold means there is no extra energy given to the particle. So particles are still there. But those particles possess now potential energy. And potential energy is the energy of stationary particles. So those particles are there, but they will not move. That means if you heat it, the heat energy gets converted into kinetic energy and the particles are able to travel a greater distance. That means higher the temperature, more is going to be the rate of diffusion. The next factor is surface area. Greater the surface area or more the surface area, faster is going to be the diffusion. Greater the surface area, faster is the diffusion. And we can take again a very important and a very simple example actually. Suppose we wash something, our clothes, and we want that those clothes to dry up quickly. So what would you prefer? Would you want to spread those uh, clothes completely like a single layer? Or would you fold it into three, four, five folds and then you want to put it? So if you spread it in a single sheet, more and more water evaporates and that water vapor will diffuse from that area because the water evaporates just above the clothes and from there the wind is going to take it away because concentration of water vapor is more just close to those clothes. So whenever we want our clothes to dry up quickly, we spread it completely instead of putting it in folds. Because if you keep fold, uh, folded clothes, upper layer dries up, but the lower layers, they still remain wet. So greater the surface area, faster is going to be the rate of diffusion. And these things help us later on. Like when we breathe in, in our lungs, the surface area is too much. And that is why we are able to take oxygen that efficiently. So, more surface area means faster diffusion. Then there is one more factor that is density of the medium. The medium, how dense the medium is. And we have seen three types of mediums. One is solid medium, one is liquid medium and one is gas medium. So, in case of solid, the density is more. The particles are like this. In liquid, the density is lesser. And in gases, the density is least. And when diffusion takes place through these mediums, the particle which has to diffuse will go through this. And here there is no space because the particles are very close to each other. Here there is space, so particles will move. And here there is plenty of space, so particles will move very, very easily. So, more the density of the medium, less is the rate of diffusion.
more dense the medium less is the rate of diffusion so a rate of diffusion is maximum in gases because the density is least so least density maximum diffusion in solid diffusion is almost negligible because maximum density least is the rate of diffusion so these are some important factors which would affect the rate of diffusion now in the next part we will talk about the states of matter